Alright, Barak Dayahawa, Barak Dayahaw Shah, Barak Dayahawa, Barak Dayahaw Shah, Kohala Yahaw Bashim Yahaw Shah, Bahashim Kakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and salutations to your brothers that are pushing the word. Alright, in sincerity and truth. Alright, here's another video. As you can see on the screen, um, the title of this article that I'm about to go into is Horrifying UN Report Details Widespread Child Rape by High Level UN Employees. Alright, and the UN represents the United Nations. All right, if you're familiar with the Mark of the Beast, the United Nations is one of the uh one of the um one of the groups, all right, um that's going to spearhead the, the push of the Mark of the, of the Beast, the chip. All right, so this this uh article was published August 12, 2018. Shalakia, you see the um the author uh Matt Agorist all right, and here's the uh, symbol to the United Nations. As you can see, you see uh, the, the North America and uh, uh, Europe. All right, and you see Africa and you see South America at the at the bottom, but you mainly see no North America. All right, and the top uh, Asia. All right, so I'm just going to read a few uh, little tidbits of this article. Um, now, as you can see, this is from uh, BlacklistedNews.com. A deeply disturbing report has finally been released by the United Nations detailing the rampant sexual exploitation of children by UN employees that is widespread throughout multiple countries. While pieces of the report were released previously, the full report detailing the scope and horrifying nature of the abuse was only just released in July. So this information is just recently uh, released about uh, UN, UN um, employees all right, uh, dealing with little children, all right, dealing with uh, uh, pedophilia, so on and so forth, all right, and uh, the reason why these things are coming out is because uh, we're in that time where Esau is being revealed, all right, and how is his, uh, how is his wickedness being revealed through the internet, okay, through the internet, and there's a lot of um, false information being pushed forth on the internet, but there's a lot of information that comes out. There's so much information that uh, uh, gets pushed out that a lot of things like these, these reports of the United Nations uh, employees, all right, sexually abusing little children, is push, push to the, uh, push to the back, all right, and nobody's in the uproar of it, all right, because people have been des desensitized uh, to w what's going on in the world, all right. Um, this is a little excerpt of the publication. Shalak, you bear with me, brothers. Um, it says, uh, the publication of a summary version of the report caused a global fury in 2002, eventually leading to some policy changes. However, these efforts have proven woefully insignificant in the light of ongoing scandals, including but not limited to the recent Oxfam debacle and Zoe's arc, Zoe, Zoe's arc scandal, allegations of horrific sexual abuse in Central African Republic by UN forces, and the Laura Silsby incident. All of these cases and many others occurred after the partial publication of the UNHCR report pointing to one unsavory conclusion. Aid work is not a vehicle of charity, but is, in a very real sense, a cover for atrocity. It is a weapon, a blunt instrument of power that is wielded to exploit the most vulnerable populations in crisis around the world. We cannot now state that sentiment as fact, not opinion. So wherever these Edomites go, all right, all of their institutions are set up to do wickedness. And in this case, particularly the United Nations, when they go in with their peacekeepers and say that they're helping people, all right, for, as far as um, fighting different diseases or, or war, they're actually going in there to exploit children, little children, all right. Uh, um, Central Africa is 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 an example. The, the Central African Republic, all right, and there's many other incidents, and this has been going on for 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 decades. All right, for, for, for years, man. All right. 
because the so-called white man is the devil. Now we're going to get into uh, a, a little bit more. Let's see if I, we can find some incidents in this article. Uh, it says the report reads like a nightmare and states in part agency workers from local and international NGOs, as well as UN agencies are among the prime sexual exploiters of refugee children, often using the very humanitarian assistance and service intended to benefit refugees as a tool of exploitation. Male national staff were reported to trade humanitarian commodities and services, including medication, oil, uh, bur bel belger, wheat, plastic sheets, education courses, skill training, school supplies, etc., in exchange for sex with girls under 18. The practice appeared particularly pronounced in locations and significant and established aid programs. It said there was compelling evidence of the chronic and entrenched pattern of these types of abuses in refugee camps in uh, Guinea and Liberia. In particular, the number of allegations documented, however, is a critical indicator of the scale of this problem as altogether 42 Agencies and 67 individuals were implicated in this behavior. So this is well, this is well rampant, all right, throughout the United Nations, all right. And th they knew about this, and they wrote a report, <clears throat> and it goes back to 2002. But we know that this is happening before 2002, okay? Because these Edomites, which are the full, um, are the face of the United Nations, are nothing but pedophiles, all right, and 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 they're the wicked, and um. Let's just bring out some a few scriptures. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh this is uh, the first scripture right here in uh, Psalm sixty four. Um, and seven it says uh. Uh, no, Psalm 64 and 5, it says, They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see us? Who shall see them? They search out iniquity. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But Yahweh shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So... They shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of Yahweh. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall see, shall be glad, Shalakia, in the Lord and shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. But the key point was in verse 8, um, Psalm 64, verse 8, it says, so they shall make their tongue make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And that's why we're seeing all of these reports come out about the wickedness uh, of this so-called white man. All right, because it's it's a, a, a fulfillment of the prophecy in um in, in Psalm 64. It says the, they shall make their tongue to fall upon them. Um I'm reading down. In the next bowl, it says the sex exploiters are men in the community with the money, power, and influence, agency workers, peacekeepers, regional and national armed forces, teachers, police, businessmen, diamond miners, refugee leaders, and logging company staff. So it's a lot of Edomites among them that do this, all right? And you got the heathen that's also caught up in, 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 doing, in doing this wickedness, but Basically, when the United Nations come in, <clears throat> these NGOs and these people that that work up under the umbrella of the United Nations are taking advantage of the uh, uh, the um, native people of the land. All right, and they're doing all types of wickedness. All right, not only are they dealing with girls under eighteen, but they're dealing with little boys too. All right, <clears throat> it says according to the exclusive report by the Sun, the dossier reveals that on top of three. 3,300 pedophiles working for the organization, thousands more more predatory sex abusers, sp uh, sp uh, specifically target aid charity jobs to get close to vulnerable women and children. All right. So this is 
these jobs that that the United Nations is offering is nothing but a front <coughs> for for these Edomites to take advantage and 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 pet and, and 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 be in the pedophilia. All right, it says uh, child rape crimes are being inadvertently funded in part by United Kingdom taxpayers. Explain me, Cleon. I know there were a lot of discussions at senior levels of the United Nations about something must be done, but nothing effective came of it. And if you, <clears throat> if you at the record of whistleblowers, they were fired, he said. So people, even people that was coming out that was, was saying that these things were happening, they were being fired. All right. Um, it says as the free thought project <clears throat> has been, um, like you has been reporting for years. None, none of these predators, are ever held liable, and as the report shows, only the ones who exposed it are fired. <clears throat> In a blow to victim of human trafficking worldwide, a massive child sex ring was exposed in Haiti. See, all right. So you Levites, <clears throat> amongst you Levites, there was a major child sex ring exposed in Haiti, involving international peacekeepers with the United Nations as well as other high-level officials. From around the world, and no one went to jail. It, it's just because you eat a mice in power, man. You're the wicked, all right. <clears throat> but uh, they use these uh organizations, um, these uh, what is it, uh, multinational organizations, to uh, commit wickedness, <clears throat> all right, to com to commit wickedness and abuse little children and do all types of wickedness. And uh, the men of GMS, Great Millstone, are 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 the ones that's pushing this, but they call uh, the elder apostles rapists, and they say that they're pushing a the rape doctrine. But here it is, Esau <clears throat> is doing all types of wickedness, man. So, you know, just just a quick video, you know, for our brothers to take a look at, and just going to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushah by Shem Double honesty, apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, for pushing the work. Shalom.